Hi, my name is Katie Reckamp, and today's video is why I got a second pet rat. I have two rats on my shoulders today. They're both feeling kind of camera shy, but oh well. This is Spock. She's Stormageddon's new friend. Now, the reason why I got Spock a little buddy was because I noticed a change in her behavior with time, like she slowly became less responsive and stuff like that. Rats do get depressed when you get only one, so it's definitely good to get a second one. But if you originally just get one of them, then it's okay. You can still recover. You can still get a second rat, but you do need to do a sort of an introductory process first. Now, basically what it consists of is having them in two separate cages, but next to each other. Not close enough where they can reach through the cages and hurt each other, but close enough where they can uh, kind of smell each other and kind of say, hey, you're a new thing that lives here now. So um, after you let them kind of sit in the cages next to each other for a while, for like a week or so, you switch them in their cage, you switch the cages that they're in. So like if uh, Stormageddon is in one cage, then you put Spock in the other cage and then you switch them. So that way they can get even more familiar with each other's scents, so that way they're a little bit less territorial when they get together. Yeah. So, um, yeah, after you've done that for a while, for like another week, then you start to do supervised play when you kind of both take them both out of their cage and then put them both in a neutral area and then let them play together and make sure that they're not really being aggressive towards each other. So basically having them in a neutral location like the bathroom or something like that, somewhere where they haven't already marked their territory, said this is mine, you can't have it, you need to get out of here. If it's a new place then they're both going to be focused on exploring and less on claiming territory. So yeah, after you've done that for a while, you can then uh, let them share a cage, but just keep an eye on them. Keep, keep an eye to make sure that they aren't hurting each other. I forgot to mention this, but before you put them both in the same cage, make sure that you clean out the cage thoroughly so that you get rid of as much scent as possible from the two of them, and try to change up the play area. Uh, as much as you can to make it unfamiliar to both of them. So that way they're more focused on uh, checking it out and more focused on uh, stuff like that rather than saying, no, you can't have this, this is mine. So basically whatever you can do to reduce that is generally, no, you can't go climbing yet. So basically what, you distracted me. How, you apologize now. Give them an apology. Okay, that counts as an apology because it was cute. So anyway, just make sure that it's nice and clean. Make sure it's completely different as possible. And also, uh, put them together first thing in the morning because that's when they're most tired because they're nocturnal, so they'll sleep for most of the day. If they're both sleepy and groggy and tired, then they're not really going to chase after each other or uh, get territorial because they're going to be sleeping together and that generally tends to calm them down a little bit. Now rats have a very strong tendency to wrestle with each other. They like to wrestle in playhouse, but sometimes they'll squeak and it'll sound like one of them is hurting the other. And the basic rule of thumb from almost every rat care research that I've seen said that as long as there's no blood, it's okay. As long as there's no blood, they're not actually hurting each other, it's just normal playtime. Now, when you get a second rat, you got to make sure that they're relatively close in size because since rats like to wrestle with each other, they will, um, if one of the rats is bigger than the other, then they will be very prone to bullying the other. They'll kind of pick on them, kind of like a, like a playground bully thing. When, when one's bigger than the other, they'll pick on them. So make sure that you get them both relatively the same size, and after that, loads of cute fun. They, I didn't really notice the difference in their personalities until I started dealing with both of them. Like Stormageddon over here, she's an explorer, she's an adventurer. Whenever I let her out of her cage, she always runs around the entire apartment. She wants to check out every little nook and cranny. 
figure out what's changed. When I let out Spock, she's still a little bit skittish. She's still more skittish than Stormageddon. Whenever I let her out, she always wants to cuddle next to a person that she recognizes, or she wants to go hide in a corner. At least she's uh, getting fairly well socialized with people. She likes to play with people. So that's a big step. She used to be just skittish of everything. So yeah, that's basically why I got a second pet rat and some basic tips for you if you want to get a second pet rat. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.